Hi, I'm Melissa Shannon from Digital Scrapbooking HQ.com and today I'm going to show you how to recolor part of an element in a scrapbooking kit. This tag comes from Eva Kipler and Flerg's Peace on Earth kit available at scrapbookgraphics.com. I'm going to show you a simple way to recolor part of an image. First thing I need to do is select only the coloured part of the image. I'm going to use my magic wand tool with a tolerance of 70 and I'm just going to click on the red. Now mine has selected it all in one go. If your result is something more like this, you may need to shift click your way around or just increase the tolerance until you get a good result. Okay, I'm happy with my selection now. I'm going to layer, new layer via copy. Now at this point, I'm going to apply a color to just this selection. So I'm going to go down to the new fill or adjustment layer icon at the bottom of the layers panel and click on solid color. At this point, I'll choose a nice bright blue color, I think. Maybe a darker blue. There we go. Now it doesn't look like much, but with Scrapper's best friend, Control G, I can clip the solid color down to the shape that we just selected. You can do that by pressing Control G or going to layer and then create clipping mask. Now the color looks very flat right now compared to the original textured finish. So I'm going to do some adjustments using the blending mode. If you go to your layers panel and click where it says normal, you'll see that there's a variety of blend modes you can use. I just usually scroll through them all by pressing a down arrow or by clicking on each one until I find something that works quite well. I think the hue blend mode works well. So there you have it. A quick way to go from red to blue. Would you like to see more Photoshop Elements video tutorials? Visit digitalscrapbookinghq.com for more tips, tutorials and free online workshops.